Hello Ratbags, it's Jay Games. welcome back to another Ark Survival Evolved News video. Today we're taking a look at the Utranos, the first picture, Utranosaurus, something like that, I can't remember, the, the, the furry one. And we're taking also a quick glance at what happened last night with the hotfix, some of the new button mapping, and of course we are going to give you a tiny bit of information about the center update and its new boss fight. So here it is, guys, the Utranosaurus. Utranosaurus. Um, <laughs> it's a bit furry, isn't it? It looks very furry indeed. Don't worry, guys, it's just a joke. It's not going to be this furry or feathery, as you want to call it. It is just purely a little joke. Jeremy tweeted this picture out last night and everyone went mad thinking that was what it was actually going to look like. It's not going to be that uh, feathery, guys. They will trim it back a little bit. I mean, it would be quite funny if it was. It would definitely add something unique. If you don't know, um, this is supposedly some most people assume now or think this is what most dinosaurs look like, though. They had this amount of sort of feathers on them rather than just natural scales. So this dinosaur is quite a way off still. It's not going to be in the next PC update, so you won't see it on Xbox for a good couple months. The hot fix hit last night. Lots of brand new fixes, lots of issues resolved, hopefully. Let me know how you're getting on today with connection issues. Put it in the comments section or any problems you've had. Also, Equus, no one can find him on the centre map. Well, I've only had like two people out of maybe 30 tell me they can actually find some on the centre map. So if you know where an Equus is on an official centre map, let me know in the comments section. Tell people where to go to get one. But all the other dinosaurs are on the centre map, every single one of them. And I do believe they're on Primitive Plus as well. So Jack made this little mock-up yesterday, um, and it's literally exactly what's in the patch notes. So in terms of like giving you just a bit more of a clue of what to do, you've got the shortcuts here. They're all added, so you can pause this, take a screenshot if you really want. Otherwise, just check the patch notes. A couple of you guys said I should maybe do a video on it and show you guys the shortcuts with the actual controller. So I might do that. I'll have a little look and see what can happen. So hopefully now there won't be as many issues being able to craft stuff. That was the biggest one that lots of you were saying that you didn't know how to craft an item. It wasn't giving you the option. So hopefully that's been readjusted and fixed now. It will keep going, guys. They will keep updating it and they will keep changing it. And just a tiny couple of bits of info about the centre, like I told you guys. Someone asked, are we going to get the Artifact of the Brute on the centre as well? It's the only non-Scorched Earth Artifact that isn't there. And Ben Burkhart, the creator, said, yes, it is coming. So not this, yeah, following next update at the end of the month should be there on PC. So again, it should hit console in about six weeks' time. Also, Ben is implementing the Dragon Arena into the centre map. Now, with all his other arenas, he's always done it personally himself. He's customised customized it, um, you know, rejigged it, done all stuff. Like the, the Megapithecus and the Broodmother arena is fantastic. So let's hope he's doing the same thing and he's not just porting it over like it is. I'd like to see a variation of it. That would be fantastic. Again, that should be in the next PC arc update. And we're finishing off lastly, Jeremy seems quite excited about this. Physic objects will now actually float in water in Arc 257. So instead of them boxes sinking to the ground, they will actually just bob up and down in the water. And I've got it on good authority, I've not been able to check the dev kit yet, that objects will no longer be in boxes, they're going to actually be items. So if it's a sword, it should look like a sword, etc, etc. Don't ask me how that works with fabricators and things like that. That's what I've just been told. So I'll try and get a look at the dev kit and show you guys what the objects look like once they've been dropped now. So there we go guys, all done and dusted, another quick ARC news video. I am going to be showing you guys later on a quick video on the shortcuts for the controller, I will do it, and I'll show you guys the brand new Volcanoes, Volcano? The Volcano Zoning, Zone, Zoning, Zoning, Zone, Zone, Zone. On Xbox and PS4, the Volcano is not going to affect you for a good four, maybe six weeks. It's only PC that people have to move out of their houses if they were stupid enough to build it right on top of a Volcano. As ever, I'm Jay Plays Games. Make sure you've got notifications turned on. And I'll be back for more art content this weekend.